Hello, uh, in this video I'm gonna build a new enclosure for the printer. Uh, in the last video I made a lock enclosure, but uh, I was watching a stream online yesterday from the 3D Maker noob and one guy there from Sweden, the IKEA Motherland, pointed out uh, uh, another type of enclosure and I'm gonna build, build that in this video. It's a <coughs> complete enclosure with sides and backs and, and glass door so I don't have to make special enclosures for the lock table that was my original plan so uh, this enclosure is also a little bit bigger so I think the printer will fit nicer in inside so so what I did was went to IKEA and, and bought the two enclosures it's a it's actually a one uh, besta enclosure that is 20 centimeters deep and another besta enclosure that is 40 centimeters deep and i'm gonna put them together and i bought some fasteners from the local hardware store to put them together and then i'll uh, just have the back in one of them and skip the back in the the other one so it will make a bigger enclosure and then just put the glass door on the front um, so this will be a build video uh, i haven't changed much in the in the studio setup except i got my 5d mark ii canon camera back online uh, i had the webcam that's over there and i'm going to use that as a secondary camera uh, the thing is it is fastened to the table and i noticed in the last video when i was working on the table the camera was shaking so it's not good as a primary camera um, and i don't have a extra tripod to put it on so i just used my canon camera as a main camera over there and the secondary camera over there um, yes so <coughs> for now i'm just gonna open up the boxes and start building it will be probably I don't know, maybe half an hour, but I'll do a time lapse of the build. I think it's just normal IKEA build stuff, so it's not very interesting for a 30 minute long stream to have. But uh, uh, I want to talk a little bit before I start it. So, yeah, I'll talk to you more when, when the enclosures are built. Now with this camera, you can see when I put it together, uh, it's going to make a enclosure and the printer will fit inside. Uh, I even believe the 
uh, spool holder can be fitted inside also so that will be a plus and will make life simpler and I don't have to create a separate spool cabinet on top but now I'm gonna fix it together it's gonna be hard for you to see but I'm trying to keep a camera angle at some point at least to I'll cut out the videos if something happens Well, that was it. That was it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the hardware store and get four more of those uh, metal stripes to put put in the sides. I think this is quite good, but I want to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna run to the hardware store and I'll get back to you. I'm back from the hardware store. I decided to change the design and get those fasteners instead of the small ones. I couldn't find any more of the small ones and, and decided to get bigger ones and more screws. So I'll carry on in installing those instead of the, the small ones you can see here. I felt not very comfortable with, with the small ones when I was turning it around. Now I've done putting in the fasteners. I skipped those two at the bottom because I want the, uh, the printer to be inside so I can see where exactly is the best place to fit them. I don't want it to interfere with the bottom of the printer. So it's uh, pretty stiff now. Uh, as you can see, two on each corner over there and and one over here and this is will be the bottom so I'm gonna just turn this around so this is how it's gonna look um, now I have the this this area here is a bit of larger than the lock table I originally planned to use so I'll have extra space here uh, I might even be able to fit in the spool holder in some way so I don't have to make an extra enclosure for the spools but now I have uh, just one task to finish this is putting on the door so 
that's the uh, next step. So I'm going to do that. So that's it. Uh, the door is here. There is some, I don't know, end stop that I could put on. But I don't know, it's gonna push against the door, but the hinges are like self closing in a slow mo moving way. So I don't think this will be necessary. So I'll just go with this and keep this for maybe later putting it on. Um, yeah, I might have to adjust it a little bit, but I think it's quite good, good at it like this. So this will house the printer and hopefully the filaments. At least I could place them for storage in, in here, but I will have to find out if I can mount the spool so the filament can unwind and go to the printer. Probably have to design some fasteners for that, but that won't be a problem when I get the printer. I can see how everything is aligned and, and just create the objects in Fusion 360. Uh, for lights to put in the the cabinet I bought those also from IGA. IKEA it's uh, four lights connected to one power supply with a on off switch so it will be really easy to install it just has a uh, glue glue stick to put on and I'll just put them up for cable management I'm just gonna use a hot glue gun and glue those cables out to the back and have the, the power going down from the back with the switch so I can just turn on the light if, if I need to so I'm not gonna create a video about the installation it's just me fiddling around up inside and it's I don't have any good camera angles for you to show but you get the idea with the stickers and the glue gun for the cables so I'll just show you the results when when that is done now you can see the lights it is four lights on top and the wire bundle in the back is just the extra cables um, the power brick turns 20 no sorry 220 volts to 12 volts DC that is fed up to a splitter there in the corner that goes to each light and I didn't want to cut the cable so I just tied them up there and glued everything with a glue stick up in the up in the corner so this should be okay so I think this is final final build notes on the enclosure yeah so this will be this video for now most of it is a time lapse of me fiddling around so it's uh, not very good in camera angles maybe all the time but hopefully you'll get the idea uh, this is the, the the cabinet from IKEA this one is is 40 centimeters deep and 60 centimeters wide and 62 centimeters high 
the one in the back is exactly the same except that one is 20 centimeters deep and I put them together with the fasteners so hopefully this will be more stable than a, than a black table I have it here I might just, uh, use that anyway for some other, other things uh, I might even put this cabinet on top of the lock table and have it here in the corner I might have to adjust the camera angle a little bit maybe but I'll see when I get the printer and, and yeah when I when I have set everything up for printing uh, it's one thing to have everything set up for assembling everything and one set one thing to have the printer ready to print and I can talk about the prints on the table with more space here so for now thank you for watching and hope you got some idea of what to do to create an enclosure it is very minimal cost to create this case uh, it was about 12,000 Icelandic kronas that's like uh, $100 probably something like that but uh, yeah so it's not very expensive okay so thank you for now and have a nice day